This is my Minneapolis Moline M670. This was sold by Chef Implement Urbana, Illinois. It's been converted to an alternator. Uh, very straight and original. I've decided to part with it. I have had it since 1994, I believe. I bought this when I first got out of the service in 1994. I have kept up on the maintenance keeping it tuned up, keeping it in good running condition because we bailed with it. At one time, I don't remember the year, the radiator has been recorded. I had a work done to it down at Jansen's in Carlisle, Illinois. Old time uh, dealer down there that used to be Minneapolis Moline. They redid the heads for me when needed. I think it was. I can't quite remember all of it. This has been my main tractor for many years. I want to upgrade to a newer tractor with a cab. I bale hay with this. Cut hay. Rake hay. Pulls a international uh, 5100 grain drill. Its serial number is 29901848. This is the tag on the propane tank. It says year the tank was built 1965. I have not looked up the serial number but I would say it's a 65 or 66. She actually cleans up very well. It's been in storage right now, so it's dusty. The stickers are all in the original condition. The propane gauge works. There's the ample torque sticker. The tachometer was changed before I got it. I have 944.87 hours. However, I know that is not the correct hours because it was changed and I did not see that one but I think the gentleman told me it was around 3200 hours so I can't verify hours but it's been well cared for and it is in good original condition still has the MM oil pressure gauge has the MM temp gauge and the tack was replaced with an MM tack the amp gauge has been changed. It's push button start and the key. The neutral switch or start switch still functions as it should. It has to be an S to start. The hydraulic levers still have their original sticker. One of the draft control levers is broken. PTO lever still has good snap, still has the original gripping handle. Seat is still in good condition. The center three point link is not original. That's the one I got with the tractor. Pioneer couplers, hydraulics work well. PTO works well. It will spin when not being used and nothing's on it. If you have your hay bind on it, it will not spin. That's kind of typical, I think, for the Minneapolis Molines. Have the original toolbox. Fenders are in great shape. No rusted out fenders.
I put years ago Firestone Field and Road Bias Tires 18 34s. They are in good condition. I would say they're 70 percent or better. They have served me well. I think I put them on in about 1996. The rims are in excellent condition. They have not had fluid in them. I do not have fluid in them. They are in really good shape. I will be keeping the front tires that are 16 inch truck tires for mowing. I keep those and I will be putting the three rib. It had the narrow three rib, I think 600, 16 three ribs. I will be putting those on even if I have to get new ones because I am keeping these front tires for mowing. This tractor has always started well. I have never had to work on the carburation or the regulator. You do have to prime it right here when you go to start it and then it fires right off in any weather, even cold weather. That is what impressed me the most when I bought this tractor back in 1994. I could use it in the winter and it would always start. Some propanes don't start. This one has always started and started well. To start the unit needs to be in S right there. Turn the key on. Prime this. always does turn unless you have an implement on it. Here is the PTO engagement. That's good snap. Good disengaging. Seat is in very good condition. Here is the unit. She idles very well. She's idling right at about 550. There's her low idle. Idling at 400 RPM. She's just a good tractor, gentlemen.
going to miss it when she sails. Here we are in second gear, high range, taking off. well, brakes work well, they stop you, see they hold, brakes are good, torque amplifier, works well, low torque, takes you right along, Hopper up to high torque, good torque. Power steering works well. Good power steering. Won't find a nicer original M670 propane. abnormal noises in the rear end. It's solid. It is just a very good all-around tractor. There's no dents in the hood or the sheet metal. Still got the rubber grommets and the fenders. All original. Walk around to the tractor. I do know that we have this right here, a little ding in the grill screen. The lights did work. I think it needs to the wiring refreshed. The dash lights did work. One needs a bulb. You can see the dash light still comes on. The, the lights used to work. And it used to have, I don't know if you can see it in there, there's the red ember light still in there. That would turn red when you were in road mode. She has a few oil leaks around the PTO. I don't know if there isn't any other minis out there that don't. This is the way the air breather was when I got it. That's the muffler when I got it. I put that on there to direct the sound away from you. She's very straight and original. Has always been shedded. These LP valves do need replaced. You have to leave them in the wide open position to stay sealed if you close them they will leak off over time. So this is the original manual from Shaft Implement Company. The unit was sold on June 11, 1966 to Burl A. Wilson. Burl A. Wilson had a retirement auction on February 18, 1975. The tractor was sold and it was purchased with 3,603 hours for $2,800. So, like I was saying, I don't know when the tack was replaced. But the unit is well cared for and documentation to go with it.